What up, Adrian lover? Were you not gonna call me to say ta-ta? What am I talking about? Your sister's going to jail. Have a little compassion. Celebrities have it all. Money, fame, fans, and unfortunately rap sheets. Whether it's drugs, theft, burglary, assault, or even murder, many celebrity lawbreakers are no strangers to jail. In today's video, we have brought together 10 pics of TV show stars who went to prison. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. It helps us out so we can keep bringing you new content. Let's get right into the video. Ah yes, the original queen of reality TV, Paris Hilton, along with her co-star Nicole Richie, burst onto the scene as the clueless duo of rich party girls who starred on The Simple Life, a reality series that forced the socialites to do menial, low-paying jobs, highlighting their detachment from the real world. Ironically enough, both women would soon find themselves serving prison sentences for car-related crimes. In 2007, Hilton was caught speeding and driving with a suspended license and sentenced to 45 days in jail. That same year, Richie was busted for driving under the influence and slapped with a four-day sentence, of which she only served only 82 minutes. This singer was a controversial figure long before he got his own reality TV series. Being Bobby Brown was meant to depict the daily life of Brown and his then-wife Whitney Houston. It received high ratings but poor reviews, and when Houston didn't go sign on for a second season, the show was ultimately cancelled. Brown had a long history of personal drama and run-ins with the law, but even by his standards it was a particularly rough patch. Between 2003 and 2006, he was arrested a number of times for DUI related offenses and missed child support payments. Of course, his legal problems didn't end there. This once little boy from Boston's Orchard Park housing development has always believed he was destined for the limelight. <laughs> and they said I was crazy, huh? As far as reality TV stars go, Khloe Kardashian is up there with the best of them. As a key component of the hit series Keeping Up With The Kardashians, as well as its subsequent spin-offs Courtney and Khloe Take Miami and Khloe and Lamar, the middle Kardashian sister is the epitome of famous for being famous. In 2008, however, she found herself staring down the barrel of an unglamorous 30-day prison sentence after having broken the terms of her probation for a 2007 DUI. In a familiar twist, Kardashian would only serve under three hours behind bars due to overcrowding in the prison. Your sister's going to jail. Chloe's gone. Here, Kim, this one. I feel like I'm gonna bark. Who could forget the antics of Richard Hatch from the first season of Survivor? The Rhode Island native had a penchant for walking around in the nude and goading fellow contestants into verbal battles. He played the game so aggressively, in fact, that he's been featured on a number of the nastiest TV villain list. And yet, Hatch managed to win season 1, taking home a $1 million payday in the process. Unfortunately, he never paid taxes on said prize. He was later convicted of tax evasion and served 51 months in prison. Let that be a lesson to all reality TV winners. Just because you won the money doesn't mean there aren't strings attached. But everything's loose. There's nothing that's firm on this body anymore. This Pennsylvania dance instructor shot to fame in 2011 as the chief personality on the reality television series Dance Mobs. The show follows Miller as she attempts to teach aspiring young dancers the tricks of the trade while simultaneously dealing with their often overzealous mothers. Everything was going great until 2015 when it was revealed that Miller had been hiding parts of her income from the IRS. This led to a 2017 conviction on charges of bankruptcy fraud as well as the concealment of bankruptcy assets. For this, Miller was sentenced to one year and one day in jail. Too bad she couldn't dance her way out of that one. You know, getting to the top is one thing, staying there is another thing. Let's get a trophy now for being born. No, that's participation.
Amber Portwood made a name for herself on reality TV series 16 and Pregnant and Teen Mom. The latter of the two shows focuses on a group of young women as they struggle to balance their newfound motherhood with their personal and professional lives. Portwood found herself in hot water after she physically abused her child's father, Gary, during an episode of the show. After a broad investigation, the reality TV star was charged with domestic violence and drug possession that managed to avoid prison by agreeing to check into a rehab facility. Unfortunately, this didn't last and Portwood was sentenced to five years in prison, but was released early due to good behavior. Get the f out! I am leaving, I'm keeping Get her. Get out! I'm keeping her. As the husband of Phaedra Parks, a longtime cast member of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Apollo Nita often clashed with his wife on screen. Well, that appears to be the least of their troubles now. In 2014, Nita was sentenced to eight years in prison after it was discovered that he stole millions of dollars from more than 50 different people over a four-year period. The scam worked by stealing people's identities and then purchasing loans under their names. This is nothing new for Nita as he previously served a six-year prison sentence from 2003 to 2000. 2009 for stealing cars. How's that going? Good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Talk about a wasted potential. Renee Alway began her modeling career at the tender age of 13. She appeared in numerous publications over the years and dramatically increased her exposure when she made it all the way to the final three on America's Next Top Model Season 8. But nobody could have predicted what would happen next. The blonde, blue-eyed Alway was arrested in 2013 after a standoff with California police officers. The former model and actress was sentenced to 12 years in prison on multiple counts of burglary, one count of vehicle theft, as well as illegal firearm possession. Where that side of her came from, we'll never know. That they don't let Natasha do the final runway because she walks like a pigeon toed duck with a piece of poop hanging out of her ass. Judice rose to fame as one of the original members of the reality TV series The Real Housewives of New Jersey. Since 2009, the Italian-American author, entrepreneur, and television personality has written multiple books and appeared on other reality TV shows such as Celebrity Apprentice. However, on October 2, 2014, Teresa and her husband Joe were convicted of 41 counts of fraud. Over the course of 10 years, the couple had committed bank, mail, and wire fraud to the tune of over $5 million. Teresa was sentenced to 15 months in prison while her husband got 41. Upon her release after 11 months served, Teresa quickly returned to the show that made her famous. You already pissed me off. He calls constantly and every phone call turns into a fight. Disturbing doesn't even scratch the surface when discussing the crimes of this former reality TV star. For five seasons, Will Hayden was the primary subject on the Discovery Channel series Sons of Guns, a show centered on Red Jacket Firearms Company, a firearms manufacturer based out of Louisiana. Hayden, along with his daughter Stephanie, managed the shop and served as the show's main characters. However, in 2017, Hayden was convicted of raping two girls, including a 12-year-old Stephanie years prior. Suffice to say the show was immediately cancelled. Due to the nature of its crimes, Hayden was sentenced to life behind bars without possibility for parole. Informed decision. I'm doing what I think's best, which is what my position is for. I don't have time to continue this conversation. Brother. Thanks for sticking around and counting down our list of 10 TV show stars who went to prison. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and go ahead and comment down below and tell us what you think of the video. See you next time. Nothing that's firm on this body anymore.